you'll notice that this is not university. This is a field somewhere. That's because the university slash government handled this so well that um, I'm now in a field instead of in a sexy, sexy screen education building. But, you know, um, this field, this field's not bad. It's got its own perks, like a uh, bit of barbed wire. Pandemic well handled. Thank you very much. Anyway, so for the past three months, I've been going to film school at Edinburgh Napier doing the BA Hans film course, and it's been quite cool. And I want to share with you what it's like. If you're interested in applying, this might be useful for you. Or if you're just interested in what goes on at a film school, now you kind of know. A little disclaimer, this was during a global pandemic. Um, that might change things a, a wee bit. So before we start, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about accommodation. If you've been along to a, a, a Napier open day or, or whatever, they'll have tried to push you in a certain direction. Main field is, um, uh, in fact, let, me, let me tell you a little story. So like when, when you're applying, you know, so, sometimes you'll, you'll Google the accommodation. Mainfield has this amazing complex where all the, all the news that comes up is just so interesting. Like um, if we scroll past and ignore the, the two stars that it's got, we find that um, it was in the news for using the same materials as Grenfell Tower, which fills me with confidence. Although I, I'm, I'm sure they removed it, that, that's fine. My favorite story of all, which actually happened while I was there, is um, people around about the accommodation complaining about naked rugby. It's just so Bainfield. It's just so Bainfield that naked rugby would happen, you know? To be completely transparent, it's £688 a month just now, but it's good fun. It's, you know, make your own decision on that one. So for the first trimester, we had three modules, um, film narrative, communication practice, and workflow and creative camera techniques. So film narrative was split into two parts. There was a script we had to write and we, you know, we got lessons about script writing and uh, made a script. It was two pages, three pages. It was a very short script, but that's just so you could really focus on it and make it good. The other part of film narrative was actually filming um, short tableaus, which were like, um, just like micro short films. Uh, the first one we did was you weren't allowed to move, like you weren't allowed to move the camera. It was like a static shot or you could pan once and you had to do, have some action play out in front of it. I, we, I don't know what we did. I, to this day, I don't know what we did. It was like someone was dead and then they weren't dead and they got up and yeah. Um, it, it was, a, it was cool. It was cool. We had a cool like outline on the, the floor. It looked like a crime scene there was there were some weird rules with covid back then it was like when it came to education you could meet up with six people so it meant that we could go out and do location scouts so we went around edinburgh looking for dodgy alleyways and we found one and we were like hmm, nice then we presented this to the class and um this is something that happens quite a lot they're called crits where everyone in the class watches what everyone else in the class has done and then gives feedback um, and people were confused understandably by it so um yeah the second project we did was a moving tableau which meant that we could move the camera this time so we did this like creepy dude looking at photos and the, the camera like moves around the room to reveal that he's looking at creepy photos and then it moves to reveal that someone's walked in on him um and i i'm really proud of this i thought it came out really well <laughs> And so in between, while we're filming these tableaus, we're also doing workflow and creative camera technique, which is learning how to use the cameras, learning how to do lighting. We did a lot of lighting workshops um, that were really great. And workflow and creative camera technique had its own assignments to do as well. The first one was like shooting. You had to shoot wide shot, medium shot, close up. I was locked down during this assignment because someone in my flat had um, gotten COVID. So we had to isolate for a while which made the task uh, quite interesting because I basically had a two by two meter room to film. It worked out in the end though, it kind of works. I'll, I'll show you what I did there. 
Another one was documenting a space. So we went out to a location. It was like this cool bridge in Edinburgh. It was just getting different shots of the place, putting them together in a sequence. We also learned how to do floor plans, um, you know, using different softwares to pre-plan uh, our cinematography. We got to use the camera gear. Um, I'll talk briefly about the, um, the Screen Academy. So this, the Screen Academy is this sick ass building that is literally just so cool. That's got all of this gear that you can book out. So in first year, we're mainly using Blackmagic cameras and um, some nice lenses to go with that. And then as you go up in the years, you get access to more and more gear. There's also tons of lighting gear. There's just so much gear, to be honest. The Screen Academy has got everything you could ever dream of. Um, I'm super happy that we got to use that. It is a shame, however, that we can't actually use like the editing suites or the Foley plays, because th there's just tons of cool stuff in the Screen Academy. So if you're applying for next year, hopefully you do, you do get to use that. But you know, the gear alone makes it worth it. Just having access to all this like really high quality stuff um, that I could not afford. For our final project for Workflow and Creative Camera Technique, we had to recreate a scene from a film. And so my group did a scene from The Truman Show, which um, I've absolutely spammed on my Instagram. So you've probably already seen it. Um, this was my favorite project out of the whole year, without a doubt. We, we managed to get access to the, the Merkiston Library. We managed to, um, Get a, you know, book out, book out way too much gear. I, I don't know. This, my team just, they, they, somebody was too trigger happy. They know who they are, but they were just too trigger happy clicking on all the gear. So we ended up with everything, all the lighting gear, all the camera gear. We, we set up like a big bounce. We rearranged the library a bit to make a little set. We had the Black Magic Pocket 6K. Um, <laughs> no worries, no worries. Oh, and, and finally we have communication and practice, but we, we don't speak about communication and practice. That was like pain and suffering, the module. Uh, no, no. So that was basically like um, essay writing and write, analyzing films and writing about um, stuff. Uh, it was definitely the hardest module uh, because it's just so academic and I don't know how you're supposed to do references god damn it uh but yeah there's a brief overview of what i've been up to the past three months at a film school um if you're interested in any of the bits in more detail or you're thinking of applying feel free to uh, let me know or if you've got any questions on like submitting portfolios or anything uh, i'm happy to answer those um yeah i'm gonna go chill out in this field i guess uh, both should be rolling. What the heck is going on with the sun? Can you see me? Are you, am I blinded by the light? Or does it look kind of sick? Yeah, it looks pretty sick. I'll go with this.